the fact that I'm in 4K, 60 Hertz, HDR10 on Mac OS running right now is just phenomenal to me. So it's the morning now, it's 8.34 a.m. Um, I figured out what my problem was. I was talking to the Discord chat and <clears throat> it was a BIOS issue. So I had to flash my BIOS and my motherboard and I'm able to see everything now. Thank God I can boot back into Windows. Um, but now I'm actually gonna try and boot back into my drive because I wanna see if I'm able to get it to run now. So uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm back to where I was yesterday, where it boots into a black screen. And that's that's good for me, because that's a starting point of where to start troubleshooting. Okay, so I have potentially figured out the problem, but I changed some setting in the NVRAM and the boot arguments. And since I have a 5700 XT, I actually added an argument. Um, it's the AGDP mod equals Bakira. Um, I thought I didn't need that. I guess I was just reading it wrong. Come on, Apple logo, Apple logo. Apple logo, Apple logo, please. <gasps> Yo, it's gray. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, 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 yes. I'm in, baby. I'm in. Let's go. Oh my god, I'm losing my voice. Oh my gosh. I said I didn't care, but let's go, man. Let's go. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's go, baby. Okay, 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 okay. I'm dying down. Calming down. I'm setting down. Now <clears throat> is the installation process. First of all, shout out to everyone in the Discord. Y'all are super helpful. If you need any help, please go check out the Discord, Hackintosh. I was probably ragging on you guys before. That was just my frustration. I apologize, but yo, shout out to all you guys. Welcome to macOS. So I'm going to get everything started up. I'm going to see if this magic keyboard works. Oh, baby. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. This keyboard, oh my goodness. This is, this is clean, man. This is clean, clean as day. So I'm going to hit the on switch. Detected. Yes, it says magic keyboard number pad. Yo, wait, can I start typing? It's not working. Oh, it is. It's a, there's a, there's a slight delay. Oh, it's. All right, so I am back at Micro Center and I was successful with my Hackintosh, but the performance that I was getting was absolutely terrible. So I decided that now is the time. I can't keep waiting for Zen 3 to come out. Um, I know there's a difference between Intel and AMD when it comes to Hackintosh and that AMD will give you a little bit more headaches, but I think in terms of value and price, um, it's better for me to just go ahead and get the uh, 3900X and just build an AMD CPU. Um, so now I'm going to Micro Center picking up some stuff 
And when I get back home, I'll show you everything that I got. Don't know how long I'll be in there for, but when I leave the store, uh, I'll let you guys know uh, pretty much what I got. I have the X570D ASUS motherboard, tough gaming, a Wi-Fi wi card, because I'm not supposed to be using MSI, ASRock, or Gigabyte, and this was the only motherboard they had for X570. Um, I also got the Magic Trackpad. Uh, then the, the best thing is the Ryzen 3900X. This thing is a beast. And it smells good. Uh, let's see here. I got two sticks of RAM, actually. I want to test out 16 gigabytes. If that's good, then I want to move over to 32 gigabytes. So we'll see the difference. And then, um, surprisingly, I got this for a good deal. This was $200, but I got it for, I think, like 120 something. It's a PCIe Gen 4 M.2. So pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. And yeah, let's see. I'm going to do a time lapse of me building the PC and hope you guys do enjoy what you see. Uh, it's been a while since I've built a PC from scratch, but I'm really just gonna be reusing old stuff from my old PC, moving into an old case and whatnot. But let's begin with this Hackintosh. All right, so to give you guys a little context, um, I think this is day number three or two. I don't know, I haven't had a lot of sleep lately. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna show you guys footage. I don't know if I'm going to be able to even compile what I've done, but um, yesterday I bought the 3900X ASUS motherboard, NVMe drive, all that stuff. And unfortunately, from how you put in the CPU fan, um, I bent the pins, right? I bent the pin on like a $500 CPU. And I'm not gonna lie, I was freaking out a little bit because I mean, it's user error. It's like my fault that it's broken. It's not um, the retailer's fault. So I was like, you know, I don't think they're gonna return it. But luckily the manager was super nice. He said, we don't really do this for people. But since I bought it same day, a couple hours ago that I'm able to exchange it for another 3900X. So shout out to that guy because I basically would have just have, I would be sitting on like $1,000 worth of stuff that I can't use, or I have to buy another $500 CPU. So um, I got a new CPU, did everything to the T again, and it still wouldn't post, right? Um, so I'm thinking it's the board, and the main reason why I can't use my 4790K is because um, when it's in the Hackintosh mode through open core, the performance just isn't there, right? And the 16 inch MacBook Pro for like $2,100 refurbished or $2,500 brand new is just destroying it, right? So it's like, I rather spend at least $1,000 and get something decent and get way better performance. And if the performance isn't there, then, you know, I'm just gonna have to settle with the MacBook Pro. And, um, you know, that's just the way it is. And you know, that, that's not what I want. I want to be able to build a super powerful machine at a fraction of the cost that Apple is asking for. And you know, we're gonna see if I can do it, right? All right, so I'm just now leaving Micro Center. And um, unfortunately I had exchange for the same motherboard because um, all they had is MSI's alternative and I'm not going with MSI. Gigabyte sold out, so I exchanged it for the same thing. Um, I also bought, a, also bought a power supply, and hopefully this fixes all my boot up issues. Um, I'm really hoping it was a dead motherboard or something like that because um, I basically killed the front USB headers on my PC already, so I'm basically just destroying my entire PC at this point. So hopefully that was the issue, 
and when we get back I'm going to try and build the computer try to get it to post then from there boot into Windows build my kernel build my config plist then from there boot into the Hackintosh do some testing and see if I can get this machine to work right all right so I'll see you guys soon peace all right, so I'm back and a couple things I'm gonna do a little bit different is I'm actually going to build on my table instead of on the floor. And um, like I said before, I had to get the same motherboard and a new power supply just to see if it makes any difference. Um, I'll put my old PC back together, still works perfectly fine. All right, so everything is plugged in now. I don't know if this is gonna work without a GPU, but I have it hooked up to my BenQ that's over there. So I'm just going to manually turn this on by putting these two together and the power supply isn't on so it's probably why it's not booting up so as you can see the lights are turning on i do have power to the motherboard one more thing is that the guy from micro center said that this comes with a 12 pin cpu power but there's only eight so hopefully that's not going to be an issue just going to turn this on so led lights are turning on so as you can see, DRAM, and looks like it's actually booting up pretty well. Uh, it went from orange to red to white, so not sure what that means. So it's red again, white. Looks like it's just posting itself over and over again. Okay, so the GPU is now plugged in. As you can see, this thing is beefy. It's the 5700 XT. I'm going to try to boot this again. And three, two, one. Okay, lights are coming on, that's a good sign. This board is more consistent than the last one. Uh, my fans are spinning on the GPU, so that's also a good sign. Uh, yes, we're in, let's go. So let me just do a little limbo. So we are in, wow, wow, wow. So here we are, we have the 3900X 12 core uh 16 gigabytes of ram um motherboard temperature is 27 cpu is 89 we're gonna have to fix that so i'm going to install the oh it's getting really hot i'm going to install the cpu cooler right now and uh and also install the other ram slots as well so we gotta we gotta stop this right now so i actually lost my thermal paste and there's absolutely no way I can put that CPU cooler. The computer's just not gonna run without thermal paste. And I forgot where I put it. 99% sure it's in my car, hopefully it is. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go to my car and see if it's there. Um, I got it working, I just need thermal paste now. So let's go to, let's go online first, see if Best Buy has it. And if Best Buy has it, we'll go to Best Buy, if not, I gotta go back to Micro Center, man. That's a, it's a hike. So Best Buy does have some thermal paste that I can use. Um, I think for just my own sanity, instead of driving an hour there and back to Micro Center, it's gonna take me like probably 20 minutes tops. So it's like a third of a time. All right, so I got thermal paste. It's put in there now. Thanks, Corsair. And um, uh, as you can see, I'm sitting at like 38 degrees now, which is much more reasonable. I have one fan. And since I'm not gonna be going to Micro Center for the time being, I'm just gonna put in the other uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM so I can have 50, I think. Can't really use my brain right now, but somewhere around there. And just do the entire Hackintosh process again. And yeah, I'll do a time lapse. I'm not really gonna move this setup. I'm just gonna sit on the ground and do it. I'm gonna troubleshoot real quick. I'm uh, gonna give it like another minute or so to see if it actually flies through this. Probably not, but uh, I'm going to do some troubleshooting. Oops. All right, so I uh, did some troubleshooting online, found out I had to add a parameter inside the boot argument, but so far it looks like 
Everything is running good. We got the Apple logo, it's loading up. Everything is good, yes. We are in, so I'm going to install my Mac OS. I think I'm out of frame. Um, I'm going to install my Mac OS on my NVMe drive. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. I'm just so excited right now. Uh, it's been a pretty fun, challenging experience to say the least. So. You can see this is, where's my remote? I'm so happy right now because I wasn't even expecting this. I'm in Mac OS on an HDR10 display. This is basically, okay, it's not exactly like Apple's uh, XDR display. Obviously that one's way better, but the fact that I'm in 4K, 60 Hertz, HDR10 on Mac OS running right now is just phenomenal to me. So I'm gonna get this whole thing set up I'm out of breath. I'm really relieved. Hopefully everything is stable, but we're gonna see exactly what it's like to experience macOS at its almost full potential. Obviously I can get a much more powerful CPU, like a Xeon processor, whatever Apple's offering, but for the best bang for your buck, here it is. A high dynamic range on a Hackintosh, on a Hackintosh.